Welcome back to Living 808. Hawaii's favorite pastime, surfing, is being celebrated for three full months at Ward Village. It's called Summer Slide. Now, here with all of the information, Brett Marumoto, who is a surfboard shaper and one of three shapers being featured at Summer Slide. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Tran. So, tell us about Summer Slide. Uh, summer Slide's an event that's taking place this summer. It's a surf exhibit that's going to be going to August 25th. It, uh, there's a gallery at the IBM building, and it's basically a vintage surf show. Um, they're going to have stuff from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, um, vintage photos. Um, myself and a couple other shapers got to build boards from all these different eras, and um, it's, it's great. You know, they got a bunch of surfboards on display. There's um, uh, a bunch of surf like movies that are going to be featured, and um, it's going to be going for a couple of months here up until August 25th. This is so great. Um, I actually went to the IBM building, so I saw a little bit of the exhibit. Um, but they have three documentaries, and then again, you're you're you know you're getting up close and personal with some of these photos and and yeah. boards from these uh, these decades, 60s, yeah. 70s, and 80s, right? So yes. so three decades, three documentaries, yeah. three shapers, all being featured, yeah. um, and I love it. You know, summer. That's what you think about. It's going to the beach, surfing, enjoying yes. the outdoors. How long have you been shaping? Um, I've been doing surfboards for about 35 years. Years now, um, I started. You don't quite look young. old enough to have been doing it that, that long. <laughs> um, no, I started really young, like um, I think around 12, 13 years old. I started just kind of fooling around in my parents' garage, stripping off glass off of old boards, and just started out shaping little boards, and eventually made boards that I could ride. But um, it was just something I wanted to do. I can't afford brand new boards at the time, so it's just something. It's been my passion ever since then, you know. So I've been really blessed to be happens in my life. What a great story. Uh, my husband surfs and mm. I know that he orders boards, yeah. but I never really I don't know the process of building a board. So you 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 kind of you brought three boards here. Yeah. Walk us through the process. Okay. Um well what I got here is basically this here is the raw blank that it all starts from. Um this is a unique blank because it's actually recycled foam, which is kind of a new component that's been on the market for a few years. So I work with Arctic Foam and Marco and um we get these raw blanks and then I do a lot of CAD uh, design on a computer and what it does is I'll do my designing on my computer and just kind of get the board dialed in with all these like CAD programming and then the machine will cut it to this and then it'll go into the shaping room <clears throat> where I use all my tools and uh, there's different templates we use to get like the outlines and things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, Do you work with people on the right um, thickness of the board and shape of the board. Yeah, that's a really, really important aspect of shaping is um, just getting it dialed into the person's ability, their their weight, so it paddles good and things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's really important. But um, as far as what what happens next after I finish this off in my shaping room, it's going to go to the glassing, and that's where we have the last board there. And there's like a fiberglass and resin that's used to just put a shell on the foam because it's so soft, you know. Mm. And um, after that, you know, there's color that's put on. I do a lot of the color work on my boards, so that's one that I sprayed. And, um, you know, a lot of people have their own custom designs with color and things yeah. like that. But, um, yeah. How long does it take for you to make a board? Um, it's probably about a week process to get everything done. Um, you know, we've done boards in 24 hours, you know, for some professionals that need them. It happens a lot, so mm -hmm. you got to always be ready. Yeah, because sometimes they break their boards, right? It happens the quite often, yes. Um, can I ask, do you have any professional surfers using your board? Yeah, I actually have a couple of really good guys I've been working with for, for quite some time and that would be like uh, Flynn Novak and Kalani Chapman and Mike and Derek Ho. And um, yeah, I've been really blessed to, to be able to work with talent like that because yeah. um, you need that as a shaper to get the feedback and just to, to build good boards. Yeah, no, that's wonderful. Um, where can people get more information about you? Your where, your workshop is on the North Shore. Yeah, um, the best thing is just go to my website at brettboards.com. You can go on Instagram, same thing. And then okay. I would just and you know encourage everybody to go to the surf exhibit at the IBM building mm -hmm. and get down there. I mean, I know tomorrow night they're having a big movie premiere and all the boards are on display and um, it's a great thing.
Terrific, and we have that information on our web or on our website, but also on the screen there. IBM Building uh, daily until August 25th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at wardvillage.com. You can go and get more or more information. And again, we have have those three documentaries uh, happening over the yeah. next couple of months. Thank yeah. you so much, Brett. Welcome. It was really enjoyable talking to you. Thank now you. I can go home and pretend I know something about shaping so forth. <laughs> My husband will be so impressed. All right. <laughs> Coming up after the break, we are going to wrap things up and tell you what we have in store for you tomorrow. Stay with us.